Hello friends, in this video, we are going to talk about the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology Scholarship. And basically in this video, we are going to look at um, the eligibility criteria for this scholarship. We're going to move forward to talk about the application window or the application timeline for the scholarship. The next thing we're going to look at there are the steps in order to complete the application. And finally, we're going to wrap up by talking about um, the degree programs that this university covers and everything you need to know. So if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button as let's get down to talk about this scholarship. Now, what is the CAS scholarship? Basically, the CAS scholarship is a financial aid program to support international students. And this scholarship covers both for master's and for doctoral studies at their institution. Now, an overview of this institution is it's a very beautiful institution. And you see they are ranked first, it's ranked first in South Korea and is the fourth best institution in Asia. So it's an incredible um, university that I will recommend you to study in. We've already talked about the uh, scholarship, but basically it provides you um, full tuition ship, like you're exempted, you're exempt from paying the tuition fees. You have a money allowance of 350,000 Korean won for master's studies. And if you're going in for PhD, you're going to get a stipend of 400,000 Korean won. And it also covers your medical insurance. So this is an amazing scholarship. And finally, you it covers you gives you the opportunity to be able to work on campus that you can work as a teaching assistant or a research assistant. So this is an amazing opportunity. I really will recommend this. Now, moving on to talk about eligibility for this scholarship, they have some basic requirements that uh, you need to know. First of all, you need to be an international student and then um of course, we've already mentioned that you'll be exempted from tuition fees and then you need to have like a minimum GPA of 2 out of uh, 4.3 at the CAS Institute. And uh, this is a very uh, moderate GPA. In terms of eligibility, applicants must hold or expect to hold a bachelor's degree for master's. And if you're applying for a PhD, you must hold a master's degree by August 28, 2022. That is for degree requirements. And in terms of citizenship, of course, you must be an international that is you should not hold a Korean citizenship. The next criteria that uh, highlighted was English language proficiency requirement. Even though they said you need to have TOEFL or IT, but of course, all of this can be waived if you completed your studies in English. Of course, all this can be waived. You don't have to provide it if your studies are okay. in English. And most especially, if you come from any of these countries, then you don't need to show proof of English language requirement. This is awesome. So you just have to check it clearly and see if your country is in the list. Now, the next step is you need to find an academic supervisor. For masters, you need to find at least three or five faculty members from the department you wish to apply. We're going to get to the departments shortly. And then for doctorate, you also have to find a supervisor. So these are just basic requirements that um, I think you can check for yourself and see if you meet them. The next thing we we'll have to look at now is the application timeline. When to apply, this is very important. Now they have um, the spring semester, they have the early fall semester and they have the fall semester, which is regular. And assuming when you're watching this video, you you decide which one fits perfectly for you so let's assume that you're applying for august to september you have to submit your online application within this period so right now the purpose of this video is to help you to have ample time to prepare to contact your faculty members and to prepare your documents and submit because the next step is you need to submit your documents and then you have to check your mail uh, regularly to see if you have been uh, qualified for the next step and finally you're going to receive your admission decision for March if you took for spring semester and for fall, you're going to begin next year in September. That is 2023. So it's important that you have these deadlines in your heart. So there are some basic, um, we have already talked about uh, the, the basic steps, the application material requirements. This is just a list of document checklists that uh, I will leave all the links in the description so that you can check. But you need to complete the online registration 
you need to you need a statement of financial resource and basically since you're taking the, the scholarship it's convenient you need a recommendation letter you need your certificate you also need to provide your transcript and then the english language requirement which you already talked about it it can be waived and then we have uh, the cv you need to provide your curriculum vitae you need your passport your id document and then um id document of your parents you have a um, certificate of your family registration certificate of facts concerning the entry and exit and then you have all these uh, supplementary requirements or optional you can add maybe if you have some uh, honors degree awards employment certificate all these are generally used to boost your your position or your your stand this can really help now the steps to apply is the first thing is you visit the official website step two you check whether all the information you saved are correct you save in a file and then um, you have to pay the application fee they have an application fee of 80 dollars this is very important guys considering the benefit of this scholarship i think i would suggest that if you can afford it you should definitely pay and then you print out the online form the next step five is that you have to send the hard copy and the supporting materials to cars they have provided the address on their website which you can see here you can send all your documents for them to uh, verify of course you don't have to take your original certificates and send you have to get uh, the uh, the notarized ones and then you send and then you check if it has arrived that is basically it here you'll find the steps in order to apply the first step is you need to find a study program that matches your career background and then you need to prepare um you have to put a field in your academic history performance and experience and references this is all done on online portal you need to put your statement of purpose that is your motivation letter and then uh, financial resources to study at KEST. but since we're talking about the scholarship they have so many scholarships but this is that which we're talking about today and remember it's 350,000 uh korean won for masters and 400,000 for doctor and you have to submit and then you pay the application fee of 80 us dollars you can pay by credit card you need to find two of your supervisors to provide your recommendation letters the next thing you need to do is you need to provide your official degree your diploma and your official transcript this is more or less a, a detailed elaboration of the steps i showed you in the previous um, slide on the previous tab so basically you need to provide your english language re report you have to provide your curriculum vitae and you need to provide your citizenship and then um, these are all the rest of the requirements which we already we already talked about here you have the online portal where you have to sign up it's simple you need to select which track you're entering for if it's four you just need to select it and then um, you select the year and then of course you put your email your password and then that's how exactly how it works so you have to create an account now um, this scholarship like i mentioned is for both masters and mba programs we also have doctoral programs we have integrated masters and doctoral programs as well now these are the programs that the university offers they offer programs in natural sciences where you find this dot means it's available for masters and for an integrated course you find that dot and for phd here so you have to check so these are the various programs for natural science they have license and bio and uh, bioengineering biological sciences you see they have just phd positions here so you have to check mechanical engineering aerospace and the rest you have to check if your program is found on this list extensive list of so many programs liberal arts and uh, convergence science you see they have a, a master's program here you can always go back to check to see if you're on the right column and then for the school of business they have all these amazing programs so guys if you plan to study in korea i would really recommend it because it's a beautiful country they have a rich culture so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video so far let me know if you have any questions in the comment section